Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC. What are the best settings for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 to improve your FPS, fix lags, stuttering and so much more. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is as usual, the essential Windows settings. And for that, you have to press your Windows key and then look for settings. Over here, go over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to optimize your PC's performance because it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage. After that, head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode optimizes your PC by turning notifications and services off in the background, allowing you to gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, head over to that and over here, click on change it to default graphic settings in which you have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will reduce your input latency. Once done with that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then you have to add Call of Duty in this list. Go to the download location, I have already done it. Here is my Call of Duty added right over here. Go over to options and then I select high performance, click on save and that should be it. Close your settings. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that open up Steam on your PC. Look for your game, right click on it, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Then you have to find cod.exe, simply right click on it, head over to properties and then click on compatibility. Click on disable full screen optimizations, and then click on change high dpi settings. Also click on override high dpi scaling behavior, click on ok and then click on ok. Once done with that, simply close your folder. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus VoiceWay, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment, which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application and it is super amazing. So go check out Ezus VoiceWay from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it BO6 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 release FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Over here, you'll find in seven simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, I would recommend you guys should double click on the AMD CPU priority and this will help you to set up the correct CPU priority on your PC, improving your CPU's performance. You can do the same for your Intel CPU. Next is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your memory. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to run this registry. It could be different for you so look out for yourself and if you don't like the performance you can reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the BO6 priority in which I have left 3 priorities over here and I would like you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from in this list. Next, head over to unwanted services over here and you'll find in a lot of services. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices or printer services, leave them. But other than that, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of them over here. This will reduce the number of active services running in the background. Also unnecessary services that can help you to increase your CPU's performance as well as your PC's performance in general. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back to normal, use this folder and you can do that. Fifth folder is a batch tweaks, which helps you to improve your CPU, RAM and input latency. And over here, I would recommend you guys to run all of them as administrator. And if you guys want to know what they are changing, I did them in notepad and you guys can see they will run a bunch of commands on your PC automatically that you don't have to do and all of them will help you to improve your PC's performance over here. So once again, BCD tweaks and latency tweaks will help you to remove your input latency. Memory compression will help you to improve your RAM performance and process mitigation will help you to improve your CPU performance. Once that is done, go back to the sixth folder, which is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate perform power plan. You have to right click and run this as administrator. After that, open up power plan and then you have to click on ultimate performance right over here. Once that is done, simply click on close. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch over here. Simply right click and run this as administrator. This small pop-up will open right in front of you, which will ask you to delete all temporary files from your PC. Simply click on any button and do it. It's always good to do it every now and then and it's completely safe to do so. Next is quickcpu.msi. Simply right click and run this as administrator and install this application. 
After that, open up Quick CPU on your PC. Once it opens up, what you have to do is click on this maximum performance button over here, or you guys can just slide all of these sliders up to 100% and then click on apply. This will help you to stabilize your CPU and let it run on a constant turbulence on a constant frequency, which will help you to improve your throughput of your PC and also help you to optimize the gaming performance. Once it is done, simply close this app and close your FPS pack. Next step is fixing all of your network issues ping, packet loss, latency and input LA using no ping. It's free to use for 7 days. You guys can download it from the link in the description below. Once you install this application, you guys can see an interface like this where you can look up for over 1000 games. We can simply search for Call of Duty and then look for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. You guys can find it right over here. Click on select the server and it will show you all of the servers near to your location. Once again, you guys can find the server with the lowest amount of ping. Since the game is about to release tomorrow, all of the servers are not visible yet but you guys can pick the nearest region to you and click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game the best part about no ping is the settings here over here where you guys can find turbo games and if you enable this it will help you to fix your response time and keyboard input latency and it also offers you a dedicated fps boost section wherein if you enable all of these settings it will also help you to boost your in-game fps i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen the difference in games not just call of duty but all of them i highly recommend you guys to check out no ping from the link in the description below next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape altogether on your PC and then click on startup apps. Over here, I would recommend you guys to disable all unwanted startup applications that you do not want to boot right from the boot of your PC. It will help you to reduce the number of processes and applications running in the background and it will also help you to improve your overall PC's performance in the long run. Next step is uh, deanimating windows and it is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on the custom button and then enable save task or thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them enabled will keep the basic and minimal look of your windows intact and disable all unnecessary heavy animations off. Once that is done, head over to the next step that is right in the advanced tab that is setting up your virtual memory correct. Over here, click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then select your local disk C and for the initial size, set this thing to 1361. And for the maximum size, open up your calculator. Over here, multiply your RAM with 1024 and this value should be divided by 2. The new value should be pasted in the maximum size. Click on set and then click on OK. Virtual memory utilizes your ROM or your hard disk drive as your virtual RAM. So if in case your game demands more RAM to improve the performance, it can use the virtual memory. It's super essential and it is a game changer while you're playing the game. So I highly recommend you guys to do it. Click on OK and close it. Now drop into the game for the best in game settings. So once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to the settings gear over here and go down to graphics and then for display settings make sure that you have your display mode to be set on full screen exclusive display monitor should be your native monitor and a native graphic card screen refresh rate should be the highest available for your monitor display resolution should be your native resolution however you guys can lower it down just a little bit and upscale your game for maximum fps again aspect ratio should be the wide aspect ratio should be your native monitor aspect ratio over here for display gamma set it to 2.2 for eco mode preset go with custom vsync gameplay should be turned off and menus should also be turned off custom frame rate limit should be set to custom click on show more and then gameplay custom frame rate limit so i have a 240 hertz monitor so my limit should be 3 fps minus 240 so that is 237 if you have a 60 hertz monitor set it to 57 if you have a 75 hertz monitor set it to 72 for 144 monitor set it to 141 menu custom frame rate limit should be set to 60 and out of focus should be set to 20. Once that is done, go down. Reduce menu render resolution. You guys have to keep it to optimal. Pause game rendering. Set this thing to on. Reduce quality when inactive. Set this thing to off. Now, now once you're done with that, head over to the quality. Click on apply. And now you guys are entering the most important section of your settings over here. For graphic quality, set this thing to custom. Render resolution. Set this thing 
to 80 or 90 then press on enter while this take up a little bit of your quality of the gameplay this adds up a lot of fps dynamic resolution should be turned on click on show more and then dynamic resolution frame rate target should be 240 fps dynamic resolution should be turned off as this will add input latency upscaling should be turned on and for this you guys can go with fsr3 this is the best possible for your graphic card if you have an amd graphic card like me but if you have an nvidia graphic card go with nvidia image scaling click on show more and then the scaling preset you guys have to set it to quality or performance for the scaling preset head over to quality or balanced sharpness should be set to 35 now i use amd fsr3 so my fsr3 preset should be set to quality then fsr frame 3 then now here is the most important setting over here that is fsr3 frame generation you guys have to enable this this is literally free fps vram scale target should be set to 80 but if you guys have the target limit over here and you guys can see that this usage is very close to your target limit you guys can set this thing up to 85 percent now come down to details and textures over here for the texture resolution go with normal texture filter anisotropic go with low depth of field should be turned off detail quality go with normal particle quality go with very low bullet impacts should be turned off persistent effect should be turned off shader quality go with medium on demand texture streaming go with optimized go with minimal click on show more over here and then allocated texture cache size you guys have to set this thing to 50 download limit should be turned off for shadow and lighting over here shadow quality go with low screen space shadows off occlusion and screen space lighting should be turned off screen space reflection go with normal static reflection quality go with low for environment tessellation should be set to near or you guys can also turn this thing off volumetric quality over here this is the most important part you have to set it to low deferred physics quality go with low weather grid volume quality go with low water quality go with wave wetness once it's done head over to the view tab over here and then click on apply this will restart your game over here motion reduction set this thing to on fov i prefer 110 ads field of view go with affected weapon field of view go with wide vehicle field of view go with wide world motion blur and weapon motion blur go with off first person and third person camera movement keep it least and inverted flashbang keep it off once that is done close your settings now you guys can actually see the fps difference straight on your pc so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel i'm also gonna help you guys in more videos like this so consider getting the membership and with all that said we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out